Apple's iPhone 13 Pro Max is the most pro iPhone Apple has ever launched, for me personally at least. I went with the Sierra Blue model and I'm quite impressed so far. Spec-wise, the 13 Pro Max has a 6.7 inch ProMotion 120Hz display. We then have the A15 Bionic chip, 6GB of RAM, 5 core graphics, and 128GB to 1TB storage options. I personally went with the 128GB as I don't require as much onboard storage for my usage and I mostly live in the cloud. For the cameras, we have a familiar triple 12 megapixel setup on the back with the wide telephoto and ultra wide cameras as well as LiDAR. Aside from the usual camera specs this year, Apple introduced a macro photography mode on this iPhone 13 Pro Max and it's quite awesome. We'll talk more about that later. ProRes video is coming to the iPhone lineup later via an update. If you're interested in ProRes, make sure you opt for a larger storage option, preferably one terabyte as it takes up quite the real estate. Then we have the 4,352 milliamp hour battery with fast charging at 27 watts when connected to that lovely lightning connector. Overall on paper, this is certainly a refinement series, but this is the most refined iPhone to date, making it truly a pro experience when you put all of these specs to use. Regarding this build, the iPhone 13 series is very similar to the 12 series, though it's slightly thicker and the camera array is larger as well. Every other inch of this iPhone 13 Pro Max, however, is the same as the 12 Pro Max. I was skeptical of the Sierra Blue at first, but it has grown on me, especially since the color is really what sets this apart from last year's iPhone 12 Pro Max series. While I prefer to go caseless, I decided to go with a case on this, opting for now the Apple MagSafe silicone case, which pops a bit with the color combo here, and I quite like it. Though I'm not thrilled Apple continued with the lightning port over USB Type-C, battery performance on the 13 Pro Max is hands down the best battery performance I've experienced on any smartphone, period. I end most nights with 30 to even 50% battery remaining, even with heavy usage, averaging 8 to even close to 10 hours of on-screen time. A 120Hz is not a make or break for me, it's finally nice to see it on the iPhone 13 Pro Max, which by the way is buttery smooth and since it's a variable refresh scaled down when not needed, it doesn't seem to hinder the battery at all thus far, we shall see how that holds true once more apps include 120Hz. Watching content of course on this display is bright, colorful, and immersive. I love watching YouTube, Netflix, Hulu, etc. on this beautiful display. Gaming on the iPhone 13 Pro Max is also quite the immersive experience and aside from the 120Hz, this iPhone is a performance beast. Not only multitasking, but playing graphic intensive games, even jumping in and out of multiple games is a breeze. The graphics look incredible and also feel incredibly powered by that ProMotion display and that awesome A15 Bionic chipset. Apple has really gone above and beyond in terms of performance here and it's truly the fastest iPhone ever made. Throwing a wide variety of games at the iPhone, I never once felt any lag, stutter, or overheating. It performs consistently well regardless of the titles you play, and I wouldn't be concerned at all about performance when it comes to the iPhone 13 Pro Max. Being with friends and family on the iPhone 13 Pro Max is also fun and lag-free. I was able to easily join my kids in games like Minecraft or Roblox. Games within the Apple Arcade have also been growing in numbers with many awesome titles to add to your gaming experience across iOS many of which I personally downloaded and played for a few hours, putting this iPhone through its paces to really see how well refined the overall upgrade this year is. And again, it's a performance beast, a powerhouse for both fun and productivity that as noted has insane battery life to back it. That being said, I think if you're a gamer looking for an awesome gaming experience here on the iPhone, I think you're definitely gonna get that here on the 13 Pro Max, as well as the 13 Pro as the specs are very similar. Both have very solid, impressive battery life, but again, with the battery life that I've seen on the 13 Pro Max, you're certainly not going to have to worry. Being able to play several games, multitask throughout your day, watch content, make content, whatever you need to do on the iPhone 13 Pro Max, that battery life is not going to hinder you in any way, shape, or form, and you're definitely going to enjoy the experience throughout, especially with now that ProMotion display. Let me know some of your favorite iPhone games in the comments down below. I'm definitely interested to hear what games you're interested in playing, and maybe I'll add them to some of my next videos. When it comes down to it though, the primary reason I went with the iPhone 13 Pro Max and why I said it's the most pro iPhone ever released is, well, the overall camera setup. Apple has really refined not just the photography here, but more importantly to me, the video creation. Cinematic mode, for instance, is really fun to experiment with, and with Dolby Vision, it looks incredibly detailed and true to life. 
But going back to the performance of this iPhone, I love that once I shoot some cinematic footage like this video here for instance, I can quickly jump into apps like LumaFusion and edit that very footage on the iPhone 13 Pro Max, exporting it quick to share with the world. Even editing and exporting a video like this one that you're watching right now, this iPhone 13 Pro Max video, was edited right on this iPhone, then uploaded directly to YouTube from this iPhone. It's just impressive to see how much we can achieve with the phones in our pockets these days. Here's a few photos taken over the last few weeks so far on the iPhone 13 Pro Max. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. This is not my full review of the iPhone 13 Pro Max, that will come next year as I navigate the rest of 2021 and a large portion of 2022 using the iPhone 13 Pro Max as my main phone for my channel. I plan to use the cameras on board to shoot most of my content for the channel. As you know, I like to also use a lot of Android devices as well, so I'm curious to see how the iPhone compares as we head further into Techtober and beyond. For now though, this is the most pro iPhone for me, and it further enables me to do more with my content, and for that, I'm grateful for all of the refinements Apple has made here that really sum this up to be an excellent upgrade this year. Hit that like button, don't forget to subscribe as we're on the road to 1,000 subscribers. Thank you for watching, take care, and stay safe.